Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Warumya, uh, back with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Muhammad Kakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, that believe and have faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai in these last days, praying to be a part of the hopeful elect. I just got a lesson going into uh, man, um, the shame um, that we've been pretty much received in Babylon the Great, man, from from the from the enemy and also our own people, man. So I had a couple of videos and got some scriptures after that, and Lord willing to be edifying. Let's get into it. Now I can't figure it out. If y'all are the chosen ones, shouldn't y'all be obeying better than me? I mean, I even try to keep the fourth commandment. Try to keep the Sabbath day holy. I've spent many of hours trying to figure out which is the right Sabbath day. Because we know that old Catholic church, something a little fishy about them, don't we? With that white Jesus. I mean, here's a white guy telling you black people that your Messiah is not a long-haired white European guy. Your Messiah is Hebrew, my darker-skinned brothers and sisters. When are you guys going to wake up and become kings and queens? Yeah, so you see, man, the other nations know who we are, man. The Lord is waking the whole earth up. Because he's finna um, right our wrongs, man. And I can't say that that guy's an Edomite or not, but through the spirit, I just feel like he was an Edomite, man. Because he was trying to tell us who we are and not who he was. So, but um, the earth is going to know who the children of Israel are, man. And two thirds of our people are going to be put to put to shame, man. Be put 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 to death in this in this uh, land of Babylon the Great, man. This this girl right here. I think she's a terror. I think she's a chocolate cover Edomite, man. And look how she listen how she um she speaks, man. As you see, female says whites need to start being white supremacists again and blame black men for raping. <laughs> Stupid. Let's get to it. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna post this video on Twitter and if you get to see it, you're lucky because I'm probably gonna delete it really fast because it's really racist, but I wanna get the shit out of my chest because I can't take it no more. But I need white people to really start being white supremacists again. I need you guys to tap tap into that shit and do it again, please, because this country is out of control. I mean, goddamn, we got little kids thinking that they could be fucking females. And we got black people thinking they built America. This shit is crazy. And honestly, if you guys don't do anything about it, your whole generation is going to be completely... I mean, come on, nah. you, you guys are getting killed off right now. And you guys, it seems like you guys are okay with it. Your women are, your women are getting raped, that's for sure. But Muslims and blacks... It's happening all the time. You see it. And if I say anything, because you can't say nothing bad about a Muslim or a black man. Or you can let them rape. Go ahead, let them rape. But don't say anything about being racist. Don't say that, right? You guys need to stop it, okay? I don't know. I think Alex Jones was right about the whole uh, fraud gay shit. Because white people used to be so strong. And you guys now are literally learning a whole word of what racism, the word of racism is killing your whole generation. It is. You're scared to be a racist. You better be a racist because if you're not, this is going to kill you off. Basically, racism means the death of white people. Yeah, like I said, I believe she's a chocolate cover Edomite, man. And you're going to have Edomites look like, look like her, man. They're going to be dark as you, man, but they're going to be straight up Esau, man. And their spirit going to tell it. Now check this out, man. Check this out. I'm pretty sure you ordered this. Uh -uh. Uh. Was it Bill? Bill. Yeah. No, my name's Bob. The other B. So that's probably what it was. No, like I mean, not. I like that. You like it? Yeah. Okay. But, but it's not for you. No, huh? Okay. okay. No. I just wanted to let you know we dropped off your sign for you. We put it right uh, there. I did not order a sign. Are you sure? Positive. You want to still keep it? No, I don't want it to keep. I can just leave it right over there if you want. Uh, if, unless you put it in the trash can, do not leave it here. Uh, yeah, I was just dropping off your signs. My, my boss said it was this address. Thank you. 
Do you realize the Ku Klux Klan is still prevalent? Do you want these signs here or no? I mean, we have no problem. This is a fucked up town. Is it? Totally. Uh, it's a sad situation. But oh. That, that, okay, that makes sense. And, and good luck to you, but yeah. you know, I'm sorry, but this no. town is just... So, just be safe. You're safe where you are, but okay. they are still very aggressive. No. I just dropped off the sign, just to let you guys know. What sign is that? Did you guys not order it? Yeah, we didn't order it. No, we didn't order no shit like that. Uh, no, you can go ahead and get off this property, though. Oh, uh, my fault. Do you want it by chance or no? No, we don't want it. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. See the spirit of these people, man. But Jake won't understand until it's too late, man. Check this out. This one right here that went viral. <laughs> She had um, she had another medal left, but she didn't give it to her, and that's that's just pure hatred, man. And, and you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be physical to show your hatred towards someone. And as you see, man, um, as the Edomites hate us, you know what I'm saying? You see how your own people hate you, man. And then, man, this is fair use, fair use. I'm just using this for informational and uh, educational purposes. You can just see how the hatred our people have for each other. And how the enemy hate us, man. Let's get this one. Man, fuck Dion Sander. Yeah, I damn do want to put $20,000 up on any college player that I hurt his son, that motherfucking quarterback motherfucker. Yeah, that slow motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Yeah, fuck college uh, here in Colorado football. Nigga, I'm with them niggas still in Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson State University, y'all go, nigga. Fuck Dion. Yeah, Sambo Sanders is his new name, nigga. And he's a football player. Dion ain't never done shit where we can uh, rally and, 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 and revolutionize around him. Man, nigga, a football player with a turf toe. Fuck Dion. And another thing. Jackson State University winning too, nigga. Y'all ain't rooting for them nigga coaches. And then, nigga, all them little league nigga coaches that's coaching them little league teams in your city. You ain't rooting and rallying and cheering behind them poor niggas. Yeah, nigga, matter of fact, uh, fuck them white folk football team. Yeah, fuck Colorado University white alumni. Fuck they white dean of school. Fuck all them white people over there that Deion Sanders coaching for. Nigga. So, yeah, they ain't gonna let no bunch of niggas come go to school over there. They just letting them niggas Deion pick. And, and fuck, the whole, fuck the whole team. So you see the hatred that they have towards us, man. His own people, man. And as you see how the, how your own people hate you and the enemies hate you, and when someone speaks righteously, they 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 hate you even more, man. 
they was waiting on entertainers to do it for, but it's real people out here that's been doing the shit that niggas never look at. And that's the fucked up part, because it's a, I need a sensational nigga to tell me how to do something. But it's a nigga in your neighborhood that's been showing you the fucking way. But niggas don't care about that shit. I need you to have old jewels and all this other shit, which is fucking fucked up. Because you creating a system of people who only look at niggas who have material gains to listen to. And these not the great thinkers of this fucking world. It's nobody quoting these niggas as the great thinkers of this world. But that's the niggas who niggas look at. But the niggas who are really in depth and who have solutions for this shit who, who don't never think about kids. Nigga, I'm solution based. I don't listen to problems to gossip with niggas. And I understand. But niggas don't have no fucking heart. You can't go to war with niggas who love tangible things. And niggas talk that fucking war and shit, but these niggas are so unproven, but you give your loyalty to niggas who are unproven, who do shit for money, and that's it. They don't do shit for the love of the people. And the biggest commodity of anything is the fucking people. It's no you without the people. Don't give a fuck how much money you got. With no people, nigga, you're nothing. I survive with the people. It's niggas that's growing food when niggas is hungry. Nigga, we got a guard. We growing food for niggas. You ain't got to go to the grocery store. That's the real shit. Yeah, that's the man of the Lord, man. It's really doing the work and trying to lead our people back to you. How about Shem Yahushai? But we don't have on the finer things, the goals, the jewels. That will make us, I would say, uh, beautiful toward toward the, towards our people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they look down on us because you see us on the highways and byways. You know, might not speak eloquently. You know what I'm saying? Um, dressing, trying to you know, dressing our ancient garments as the, as we did in the ancient world. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to do the right thing by your how about Shemi Shah, man, our Lord and Savior, man. Because the Lord is going to do a great work in the earth, man. And the men of the Lord and you women of the Lord that believe and have faith in how about Shem Yahushua, the Lord is going to redeem you, man. He's going to redeem us and wipe away all our tears, man. Because our people need to be healed, man. These people need to be healed, man. And you, you I mean, you, you can say it, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, <laughs> from, you know what I'm saying, young to old, man. These people really need to be healed, man. Even brothers in the truth need to be healed, man. Because our people have truly been brought all the way down. Let's start right here at Zechari uh, Zephaniah 3, and I'm going to start at verse 15. Uh, Yahweh Shem Yahushai have taken, it says, Yahweh Shem Yahushai have taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel, even Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore, man. And we need we need to be redeemed, man. Because our truly our truly our people are destroyed, man. They are destroyed. And it's and it's not even a, a argument anymore. Because our people need to be redeemed, man. These people are out here are lost. Salakia. Verse 16, it says, In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. Yahweh by Shemiah shall thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. See, we have to come back to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah to get that healing, man. Because if you don't, you're going to be left out there. Because the Lord is pissed at this place, man. He's pissed at, 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 our, at our enemies and he's pissed at two-thirds of our people. So you have to come back. You have to repent and come back to the Lord. That's where the healing is in this word. It's knowledge. It's wisdom. It's understanding, man. He says, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shall thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save he will rejoice over thee. It's like he will rejoice over thee with he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. And that's the Lord coming back and, 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 and giving us back our um 
our rightful place in the earth, man, for us doing the work and believing and having faith, man. He's going to rejoice over one third of his people, man, the elect, man, because we turn back to him and we believe in him as we should have, man, like as the whole nation should have. He says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. See that? The Lord is he's going to gather the elect, man. He's going to save his elect because we return to him, man. He says, behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. See that? All these curses that are upon us, man. He's going to undo the curses. He says, and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And I will give, it's like, and it says, I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Well, everywhere we was put to shame, man, the Lord is going to redeem us, man, and give us back our right, a rightful place in the earth, man. Put us back as rulers and kings over the earth. And all those nations that look down on us and, and, and call us by words and, 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 um, and was hateful towards us and, and wicked towards us, man, they're going to get their same wickedness, man, but they're going to get a double, man, for what they've done to us, man. The Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, is with you, blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It says, at the, and at that time will I bring again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. See that? The Lord is going to redeem us, man, and ha have us to be praised in the earth, man. We're going to be praised in the earth again, man. We're going to be rulers, man. The nations are going to praise us as kings and rulers over them. It says, and at that time will I, I bring you again, even in even." In the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity for your eyes, before your eyes, Seth Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. And he's slowly doing that now because the nations are starting to realize that we are the true children of Israel, man. That, you know, we on the highways and byways prophesying the return of our Lord. Wearing, like I said, ancient our ancient garments, man. Doing these lessons on, on uh, doing these lessons on the internet, and all the I information is coming out that we are truly who we say we are. We are the sons and, and daughters of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man, the ruler of the whole earth, and the Lord is is with us, not no other nation. That's why that guy said he couldn't get it, man. He's like, I'm doing everything I can, and why why y'all ain't waking up? And the elect are the only ones who are gonna wake up, man. Everybody else is going to be in gross darkness until the Lord returns and destroys them. This is uh, Isaiah 61. And I'm going to start at one. It says, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is upon me because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. And that's the men of the Lord, man. The Lord blessed us and anointed us to go preach his word. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prison of them that are bound. And that's the prison of your mind, man. Not knowing who you are, not knowing who your power is, not knowing that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, man. We're giving this to the lowly, man, the brokenhearted. They didn't know they had a power, man. He says to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah. And the venge in the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn, man. So we're telling you that the Lord is, is coming back and he's going to redeem his elect, man. This is what we're saying. You, you are mourning and you want to know these things, but we're giving you the straight, narrow path to you. How about Shem Yahushua, man? We're telling you what is going to happen, man. We're proclaiming the day of the Lord, man. The Lord is on his way. Three, he says, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes and oil for joy for mourning. He said, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, man. 
So basically, we give you all the tools and the ammunition to be prepared for the battle, the battle that we are facing, man. This spiritual war that we are facing, man. All the things that you need to make it to your how about Shemmy Al-Shai, the Lord has blessed us, the men of the Lord anointed us to give it to you. And we're not sugarcoating no words, man. We're telling you straight and skinny. What do you say? Straight and skinny, man. It says that they might be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of your how about Shemmy Al-Shai, that he might be glorified, man. So we're telling you, man, this is this is it, man. I mean, I can't, it can't tell you how much longer this internet is going to be up, man. Because these lessons continue to go out, man, to build up your spirit for the battle, man. We haven't reached the battle yet, man. You know, a church, they tell you, yeah, get ready for the, no, nah, man. The battle is every day in your, in your, in your walk, with your how about Shemmy al shot, man. Until the physical battle comes, man. To, to, to everything that you've been taught, you, to, you learned, this is when you're going to have to gird up your, gird up, <clears throat> gird up your gird up your um your mind like a man man be ready for battle man it says and they shall build up the waste of the old waste they shall rise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities the desolation of many generations man and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and sons of aliens shall be your plowmen and vine dressers, man. And that's ultimately in the kingdom of heaven. But these nations are going to know who we are before they're destroyed, man. It says, But ye shall be named the priests of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Men shall call you ministers of our, of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in, in their glory shall, thou, shall they boast ourselves. And that's what we're going to do in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to boast ourselves in the works of the enemy, man. In the works of these other nations. But the Lord is going to show the, these, um, these, the enemies, man, and two-thirds of our people who we really are. It says, for your shame ye shall have double, and for your confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall uh, they shall pose, pos like it, and they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. That's to us, man, the elect. The hundred forty-four thousand and the one-third, man. We're gonna we're gonna be redeemed for all the shame that we have we have suffered, man. All the shame that we have suffered, man, and it's gonna go on our enemies, man, as you see it slowly doing it now. This is Deuteronomy 30, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessed and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mine among all the nations, whether Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall thy power have driven thee, and shall return unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushua thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day. Thou thy like it, and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. See that? We have to hear the voice of the Lord and return unto him, man. Because if you if you're not, your 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 walk in this earth is vain, man. You're gonna be destroyed. That then, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. And that's what we're waiting for, man. The Lord is having compassion on us now, but we wait for the Lord to get us out of here, man. He says, and I will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether Yahweh by Shem Yahushua thy power has scattered thee. And that's the, that's the Lord beaming us up from all areas, man. With Matthew 24, when he go and gather his hopeful elect, man. He says, if any of thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of heaven, from thence will you how by Shem shall thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And you how by Shem shall thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. And that's we going back into the, when the kingdom of heaven be established in Israel, man. 
That land is going to be enlarged, man. That land is going to be bigger than what it is you see on the map. Now, it's small now, but in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord is going to enlarge that area, man. That land of Israel. And we're going to return and possess that land in the kingdom of heaven, man. So basically, I just want to establish in this lesson, man, the things that we suffer now, we're not going to suffer in the kingdom of heaven, man. We'll never be looked down at, never be talked about or, or chastised for things you did. No, man, we're going to be perfect. We're going to be perfect. It says, verse 6, it says, And Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, thy power will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed. To love Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. See, the Lord is going to circumcise our mind, cut off all the wickedness out of our minds. We're going to get the new covenant, man. This is how you're going to know you're going to really be in the new covenant. The Lord is going to strip, strip all of that stuff away, man. He says, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. See, we, 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 we right now it's a, it's a, it's like a seesaw. You know, you know, back in the day, you was a your kid. You know, jumped on a seesaw. You know, everybody got on a seesaw. But this this seesaw is is slowly going up for the children of Israel. It's slowly going down for the heathen and the East and the Edomites, man. And we see it, man. We see it. You see all these Edomites got opioids and drugged out of their minds and. Shit can't barely afford to eat, man. Going to work and shit living check to check. That was that was Jake M.O., man. Now we see this Esau's uh, M.O. now, man. That's how he's living, man. That's how he's living. He can barely afford to damn live in his house anymore, man. So the Lord is, is taking those curses off the children of Israel and putting it on our enemies, man. This is Psalms 28. And I just want to get the point uh, from seven down. Well, I'm going to start at verse uh, six. He says, Blessed be Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because he have heard the voice of my supplications. And that's that's the Lord has heard our prayers now, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him. And I am helped. So we, we have help, man. A lot, of, a lot of our people have to see the Lord, man, to believe. The Lord has woken us up to this truth, man, for us to believe, man. That's the spiritual power we have, man. We, 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 we can see what no one else sees, man, because the Lord put the spirit on us to see it. He says, therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. See that? He says, with my song will I praise him, man. So these psalms are the songs, man. Now the Lord is hearing our voice. The Lord knows us individually. Now we, we, what we pray for the Lord is executing our prayers, man. And you have to believe that, man. You have to have faith in that, man. What you're praying for, the Lord is hearing your prayers. And if it's for him to give it to you, then he'll give it to you then. But if it's on down the line, he'll give it to you on down the line, man. You just have to have faith. Verse 80 says, How about Shimei Shah is their strength? And he is the saving strength of his anointed. See that? We are his anointed, man. We are the ones that's blessed by Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, man. He woke us up. He called us by name to wake up to this truth and to believe. Everybody else is in the world, man. They, they ready for the damn Monday night football or shit, hitting the club, um, sports. But, man, they, they, they in the world, man. The Lord called us out to, to worship him. Verse 9, it says, Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. See that? We're praying for the Lord to lift us up for the forever, man. Being in the kingdom of heaven, man, under Yahweh Shem Yahushua, man. This is what we're asking the Lord for, man. Bring on the kingdom of heaven, man. We've learned from our, our mistakes, man. We repented from our mistakes, our sins. We're asking the Lord to have mercy on us, man. This is uh, Psalm 6. And I'm starting verse one, the Psalm of David. It says, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten me with the hot with thy chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, for 
but I am weak. And that's what we are. We in this weak flesh, man. We have no defenses, man. We have no army, man. We have to lean on your how my shimmy our shot, man. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. And we are vexed, man. We got to see all the wickedness of this earth, man. The wickedness of our people. How we treated, how we talked about, how you done, how you've been mistreated. Man, we are vexed, man. It says, My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, O Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, how long? Return, O Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For the death, there is no remembrance. For, for, for the death, there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? See that? So we want to praise the Lord while we live it, man. Not to be dead and come back in the kingdom of heaven a thousand years down the line and praise the Lord. We want to praise the Lord now, man. While we got breath in our lungs, man. He says, I am weary of, well, I am weary with groaning. All the night maketh I my bed to to, sw to swim. That means just crying, man, constantly, man. And our spirits are crying out, man. You can't sleep at night, man. You got, you know what I'm saying, these different Foods and shit to give you, man. Put demons and shit on you, man. Try to keep you up, man. Give you insomnia and shit, man. So we're sore vexed, man. He says, the waters of my couch is my tears. The water of my couch with my tears. He says, my eyes, my eye is consumed because of grief. It waxeth old because of all my enemies, man. And we have many, man. We have a lot of enemies, man. It says, depart from me, O ye workers of iniquity, for ye how by Shem Yahweh have heard the voice of my weeping. See that? The Lord has heard the voice of our weeping, man. The Lord is going to redeem us, man. He says, ye how by Shem Yahweh have heard my supplication. Ye how by Shem Yahweh will receive my prayer. And that's all we, all we care about, man. The Lord receiving our prayer. Because we put him first and put ourselves last, man. Constantly in doing in the scriptures, man. Constantly seeking, video, watching the videos. Constantly, you know what I'm saying, doing your lessons, man. He says, let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. And that's what's going to come on these Edomites and these heathens, man. And two-thirds of our pe people, man. It's going to come on them. They're going to be ashamed suddenly. They ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna know when the Lord is gonna do this, they, 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 but it's gonna happen all of a sudden. It's gonna be, what's it, weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. This is Psalms 147. I'm gonna start at verse 1. It says, Praise ye, Yahweh Yahushai, for it is good to sing praises to our power. For it is pleasant and praise is comely. Yahweh Yahushai do of build up Jerusalem. And that's what he's doing now through the Spirit. He's building up the nation of Israel, man. The hopeful elect, man. He's building us through the Spirit to physically build us up in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're being built up right now, man. All of us are, are, are one part of that body, man. A brick in that in that um that this house we building, man. This temple we building. He says, He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart. And he bind up, up their wounds. And we are broken in heart, man. Because our heart is, our mind is as long for, for the Lord, man. We've seen what we've done and we've seen what we, we, we see the wickedness that's being done, man. And we have no power to combat it, man. So the Lord is going to bind us up. The Lord is going to heal us, man. And we truly are waiting on that, man. Our bodies are sickly. We, 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 we can't eat good food, drink, drink good water. She can damn near talk to somebody. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, we're just in a worst case, man. The Lord sent us like that to build us up, man. Because our faith has to be built up, man. Our faith has to be built up. Because if it's not, then you're not, you're not going to be stuck out there, man. And that's why I constantly do the video. That's why I constantly stay in the scriptures, man. Because the, what the Lord is going to do to this place, man, it's going to be unbelievable, man. This is uh, Matthew 9. I'm going to just get the point in verse 12. It says, But when Yahweh heard that, he said unto them, 
They that be whole need not a physician. See that? They that be whole need not a physician, man. These Edomites, man, they don't need, what do they need a physician for, man? They, they, they've had everything, man. They don't need no physician. They had, this is their kingdom. He says, but they that are sick, that's who need the physician, man. These, these lowly, man. The downtrodden. The ones that have no power to do anything, man. Always were at the bottom, man. He says, but go ye and learn what, what that meaneth, and I will have mercy and not sacrifice. See that? We won't have to sacrifice to the Lord, man. The Lord will have mercy if we repent, man. He says, for I am not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance, man. He's calling the, 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 the sinners to repent, man. All of us have been sinners, man. We repented now, but you know, before we came into this truth, we seen, man. And sometimes you go off now, man, because Esau has everything done wickedly, man. From the food to the water to shit, the, the, the women. You know what I'm saying? Everything is off, man. Everything is off balance, man. So we truly need the physician, man. And that's your how about Shemmy Shah, man. Everything is off course, man. No one can say, "Man, I ain't seeing, I ain't sinning, or nothing." Man, you, 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 in this society, you have no, you have no choice. In other words, man, not saying you go and execute wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Knowingly, no. Nah, but I'm saying without knowing, man, because you, you can deal with a woman not knowing she's married. Well, they say, "Well, we split up right now." You know what I'm saying? You dealing with a woman, then she gets, she gets, she gets back with him. You done committed adultery. She done committed adultery, man. You know what I'm saying? And then shit, they put um, pork and shit, human meat and all, human food, uh, meat and all the foods and shit, man. So we living in a worst case, man. We living in a worst case, man. And you can't keep all the laws and commandments in this society, man. The way this place is, man, it's too wicked. It's too wicked, man. This is uh, Psalms 107 in the verse 15. It says, Oh, that men... Would praise you how by Shimmy I was shot, man. So oh the two thirds would have heard this word, heard this message, and repented back to you how by Shimmy I was shot, man. For he is for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, man. He would have healed us, man. He would have healed us long ago and subdued our enemies, man. If the nation of Israel would have repented. He says, For he have broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in asunder. And he has, man, he has taken all those those uh, chains off of us now, man. We don't have those spiritual chains on us no more, man. We have returned back to the Lord, man, and repented to the Lord, man. We have his name back, man. We call on the Lord with confidence now, man. Knowing we are, we know and I know we know our power now, man. We ain't calling on the idols of these other gods, man. We call on the true living power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. He says, fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. And that's and that's two-thirds of our people, man. They're fools, man. He says, they're so aboard all manner of meat. That's a matter of knowledge, man. They hated all manner of knowledge. And they draw near unto the gates of death, man. So they, they, and our people are drawing near to the destruction of, of, of America, man. Babylon the Great, man. From Yahweh by Shem Shah, man, the four kinds of death. He says, Then they cry unto Yahweh by Shem Shah in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress, distresses. He, he the Lord did that in the ancient world, but it's talking about the elect, man. Two thirds we already know is going, not going to make it on this side, man. He says he sent his word and healed them, and that's what he he did to the elect now, man. He sent his word out and he healed us, man. He, he, hears, he healed us mentally and spiritually, man, and delivered them out of all the slacking. And he delivered them from their destruction. Two thirds of his people are going to be destroyed, man. One third are going to be able to make it out of here, man. Because we, 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 uh, we heard the word and we believed in it, man. And it healed us. It healed us, man. Let me. I got one more. Then we get out of here. 
This is Matthew 10. Matthew 10, let me go back. Matthew 10, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles. See that? The Lord had the twelve disciples not to go in the way of the Gentiles, man. And that's, the, that's these heathen nations in two at the two-thirds of our people, man. Don't follow their ways, man. He says, and into, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not to the heathens, man. He says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's the elect, man. Sh sh um, go out and preach his word and, and, and bring in the elect, man. We know it's all the Israelites, but all the Israelites ain't going to make it, man. But we just went to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. The ones that's going to receive the word and believe. And as ye go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're telling you, man. The Lord is on his way, man. The Lord is on his way. Repent. He says, heal the sick and cleanse the lepers. And that's what we're doing. We're telling you through the spirit, man. Those that will receive the word and believe on Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. This is how you're being healed, man. It says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, man. And that's truly what this word does, man. It raises the dead, man. And it casts out devils, man, because we all was dead in the world, man. We was dead, man. We was raised by the word, man. We was raised from the dead by the word, man. We had demons on us, man, because we was eating all type of bullshit in the earth. <clears throat> it was doing all manner of wickedness, man. So this word casts, it raises from the dead and cast out devils, man. And that's what it does for everyone. It says, freely you have received, freely give. So we're not selling this word, man. We're giving you the straight and skinny, man. We we preaching the word to you if you receive it or, or believe it or not. Not asking for any money, man. So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.